Hey guys, I am Show, and I am here bringing you a gameplay commentary of Call of Duty Black Ops. This is a domination on the map array, which is very rare for me. I've only posted one or two games, maybe, from array. And this isn't the most entertaining game. I think it's pretty entertaining at points, but there's also a couple of slow points because Array is such a gigantic map that really can't be avoided. But I actually have a reason for posting. I mean, it's a good gameplay, but I have better gameplays. And I have a reason for posting this because if you guys haven't noticed in the past couple of days or a uh, week or so, my gameplay hasn't been as great quality, and it's been a little stretched, and that's because I've been playing in 480p, or, yeah, 480p, because my TV that I'm currently on can't really handle 720p, but I ordered a new TV, and that should be here in a couple of days, so I am not really too too worried about that, but I wanted, I wanted my best gameplays, because I got, in the past couple of days, I got two, well, actually, last night I got two gameplays in a row that are two of the best gameplays I've ever gotten and I'm actually pretty excited so right here I'm just aiming up there and back and forth shooting throwing stunts and I think I'm on I'm on the B flag the whole time but I don't realize that I wandered off it and I kinda have to walk a little back and then get on it but anyway let's talk about prestiging so in my last video I posed a question should I prestige should I not prestige when I stopped reading the, the votes it was four to three don't prestige and then I was I was like all right I won't prestige and then I looked a little bit later and the next two votes were both to prestige so the final vote is five to four to prestige and I prestige last night and I am already on level 15 or something I don't really even know what level I'm on but I know I got the FAMAS <laughs> And a couple of my really good gameplays happened actually after I prestige. So I don't mind that I prestiged, but uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, another thing I wanted to update you guys on was the AK 47 has now overtaken the FAMAS as my most favorite weapon on, on Black Ops. Not as in, like, I like the AK 47 more, just the actual favorite weapon thing. It just says. This is your favorite weapon. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. But what I really wanted to spend most of this commentary on was Call of Duty Elite. Which, if you guys haven't seen it in the past day or so, I think everybody started talking about it last night. And that is when I figured it, found out about it. But it is a new paid service for Call of Duty that's going to start coming out for Modern Warfare 3. But it's going to retroactively work for all of the Call of Duties. So... What I have heard from a couple of sources, one of them being the Wall Street Journal, and one of them being One of Swords, who is a guy that was that wrote an article. I don't know what his job is or whatever, but David Vonderhaar linked the article, so I assume that most of what is in that article is actually true. So that's where most of my information is going to come from when I when I talk about this uh, little this little comment throughout this little commentary that's that's pretty much where I, those are my sources basically is what i'm saying so anyway what this is going to be is it's going to be a combination of stat tracking and social networking built into into call of duty and i mean it's not going to be built in in that it's going to be on the interface or like throughout you just turn on the game and this pops up but it's going to be based on call of duty and that means that you're going to have stuff like be able to organize clans, which, I mean, whatever, that's no big deal. We were able to do that on forums if we wanted to. Organize groups of people to play together, which is definitely nice. These are, these are definitely nice things, but not something that you would really want to pay for. But they also have what they call advanced stat tracking. And so what that means to me is they're going to be able to say, Daisho, you killed this exact amount of people and die this exact amount of times with every single gun on every single map on every single game type and if they have all that kind of information then that's going to be insanely beneficial to anybody playing Call of Duty there is no doubt about it in my mind that that will make anybody who has that sort of information a better player now that's not to say that anyone who you have to buy this this is the new latest thing that you need to get because in the article by the one of by one of swords he said that it's going the base thing the base call of duty elite is going to be free so i don't know what that what that includes what's included in the uh, the free part but it could be that this stat tracking or at least part of it is going to be in the 
in the free free part so basically what I have gotten out of this so far is that there's awesome free stuff that you can get for Call of Duty now and that'll help you and have help you have more fun plus there's some more stuff that you can pay for now um, a lot of people have been a little bit angry because they're basically saying I don't want to pay to play Call of Duty that is completely nowhere near what this is doing this is if anything it's the opposite Activision has one of the biggest um, me media like I can't even explain what it is but they have one of the biggest markets in the entire media industry or in the entire entertainment industry and they aren't mark they aren't getting as much money out of it as they could so they're basically getting sixty to ninety dollars from however many people buy the game which is millions and millions so they're making billions of dollars but you can't just say oh activision is greedy they make billions of dollars off of call of duty and they want more money they're just greedy bastards they are a company and Call of Duty is one of the things that they sell. Call of Duty was their super home run idea that made them millions and billions of dollars even. But they have, they produce, I don't know how many, but probably dozens of games every year. And many of them fail. And for every time that they get a Call of Duty, maybe they have five games that completely bomb and lose them tons of money. So you have to take that into account. Maybe they make a billions of dollars off Call of Duty, but they lose millions and millions of dollars off of other games, and you really, really have to take that into account when you're trying to say Call of Duty is, are just money-hungry bastards. But something that this will do, this Call of Duty Elite thing will do, no doubt in my mind, is it will slow down the pay-to-play. Because there is, I mean, I am 100% sure that with millions of people on this game, they're going to eventually institute something that says, if you want to play Call of Duty, you're going to have to pay for it monthly. And I think that's just inevitable. Maybe it'll never happen. I'll be happy if it never happens. But this, if anything, will slow it down instead of speed it up. Because now... Um, Activision will start making money monthly off of Call of Duty and realize that this is the way to go. They don't want to lose so many customers because a lot of their customers buy only a couple of games a year and if they have to pay monthly for it then they won't want to play this game. They'll find Battlefield 3 or whatever other games that they can and they'll use that and play on, on that game instead of the monthly paying for Call of Duty. But so in summary um, I did forget to mention one thing, which is that the downloadable content, the $15 map packs, will be included in this price. So they haven't released a price yet. One thing I've heard from the Wall Street Journal article is that it's going to be less than Netflix, so it's less than $8 a month, but it might be comparable. So I would say in the ballpark between 3 and $7 a month. Obviously, that's a huge, different, huge difference, but um, there's not um, so much information. As of yet, there's probably going to be more released, maybe even by the time this video is is shown. So, I'm really excited about this, and I hope you guys are too. Please leave your comments, and have a nice day. Bye!